This video is sponsored by Blue Land. I first discovered Blue Land on an episode of Shark Tank and I was so impressed with their mission. Blue Land products are effective and affordable. Refill tablets start at only $2.25. Got the clean essential and here's what's in it. I got a bathroom cleaner, a glass cleaner, a multi-surface cleaner, and also a foaming hand soap. My most used product would definitely have to be the multi-surface cleaner. I'm constantly cleaning off my counters about two or three times a day, just making sure everything is clean. All of Blue Land products are free of parabens, chlorine, bleach, VOCs, ammonia, and so much more. And they're also hyperallergenic. Click my link below and get 15% off your first kit. Blue Land is sharing a special offer just for my viewers, so you don't want to miss out. Once again, click the link in the description box for 15% off your first kit. Oh my God, y'all. I look rough. But we're about to go get pedicures. I haven't had a pedicure since like October. My feet look so bad and I need a pedicure so bad, so... We're about to go get pedicures. I just want to let y'all know. I know this isn't how I usually start my vlogs, but it is what it is. And I just look bad. I get my hair done on Monday, so I'm happy about that. I'm getting a new style, so I'm kind of nervous, but we'll see. But yeah, I will see y'all at the nail salon. I just want to let y'all know what was going on. Why now polish 10 toes down? Hey y'all, I'm back home. Hi, hi, I'm back home. <sighs> My pedicure was amazing. I got the most expensive pedicure because it had been a while, y'all. And I just, you know, I needed the works, the bells and the whistles. What I did not know is that the pedicure came with the massage, y'all. That was the most painful massage I've ever experienced in my entire life. It was so bad, I just closed my eyes and like practiced my breathing. And the lady walked up to the lady and was like, is she crying? So then I was like, oh fuck, let me, let me get on my phone so they can see I'm okay, which I wasn't. It was crazy, but my feet look so... Don't look better than mine. My feet look so good and I'm so happy. Um, I'm gonna be meal prepping in this vlog, so Finally, I ordered this stuff like before the new year even started and it's just getting here. So I'm, sorry, I'm, sorry. I'm excited. We got some I'm sorry. We got some um meal glass meal prep containers, which I'll pull those out and show y'all. And then I had ordered some I had ordered some balls for Sebastian. Cause he loves like tennis balls and they're just coming so like he loves tennis balls y'all got a gift for you got a gift for you bro look y'all see are you serious wait a minute and they come with a bag so i can keep up with them look Oh, you don't messed up, see. Hey, oh, oh, easy oh. now. <laughs> that's that's gonna know. keep, that's gonna keep him busy, y'all, cause he loved them balls. All right, y'all, let's open this up. See what we working with. I wanted to meal prep, but I, you know, like I gotta have cute stuff for motivation. It just, it just gotta be cute. So hopefully, I really like these. And I wanted these because I think they had dividers in them, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh. So it comes with five. So they are glass, but you don't have to worry about, you know, like when you put spaghetti and stuff and it get all nasty, you don't gotta worry about that. But it has like two sections, which I like. So if I was doing like a chicken, I can do like chicken and then my vegetable. Yeah. I'm so 
Hey guys, so today is Sunday. I'm trying to get myself together because my new year starts over tomorrow on Monday. I went through something quite traumatizing this week and it kind of like threw me off my game. Like the vlogs you're going to see before this vlog, you'll see like I was doing pretty good, but then something happened completely threw me for a loop. Like it's so crazy because as much as you try to like plan your life and plan to do this and plan to do that, you cannot plan for the unexpected. Like shit just happens and yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm working through that while still trying to get myself together because all those things happen and you want to just like lay in the bed and be sad all day and just not do anything, you can't. Unfortunately, you're grown. You still have bills to pay. You still have priorities. So yeah, I am glad that I am able to kind of take a break. Like today is Sunday and I didn't post today. And it's so crazy because although I know what I just went through, I still feel bad for not showing up. But it'll be okay. I'll be okay. <laughs> and to start by posting on Tuesday, I just didn't have nothing to show. I had no, no, um, no vlogs. And the vlogs that I do have that you will see before this, they're sponsored, which means they had to be approved, which they aren't approved. They're not approved right now. So I have nothing to show. Anyways, all of that was just a lot. I'm just trying to get my life together. I'm trying to get my apartment together. It was together. And then chaos happened, and now it's not. It's 3.44 right now. I have an appointment at 5 o'clock to take my camera um, to see what's wrong with that because I dropped it. And it's not working, so yeah. I'm in my room right now. I started in my bathroom kind of like just cleaning off the counter because the counter in my bathroom gets so messy, like so bad. So I basically got that clean. Now I'm about to reorganize my drawers. I was doing really good with my drawers. They were staying organized. And then Dion washed clothes. He dried clothes. And he just threw all my shit in my drawers. And y'all know I had like folded my shit. Made it real nice and neat. So it's no longer like that. So that's what I'm about to do now. Just get that back organized. And yeah. I just wanted to let y'all know what was going on. You know introduce the day. I did have some lemon and ginger tea. And it was really really good. And I feel like they gave me a good little boost, you know. I don't want to always, you know, have to drink, like, energy drinks and coffee. Sometimes I want to drink tea or just fucking lemon water, you know what I mean? Just different things. So, yeah, I'm about to reorganize my drawers. And then by the time I finish with that, it'll be time for me to put some clothes on. We got to head out and go to Best Buy. Today is also Sunday, once again, which means a lot of people are uploading. I love Sundays for... <laughs> Because I consume a lot of YouTube and a lot of people post on Sundays. So, yeah, I got a lot of stuff to watch. So, I'm going to pop me up a video. Matter of fact, let me go get my iPad because I be using my phone when I got an iPad. So, let me get my iPad and put my phone on the charger. And I like using my iPad too because my phone is a huge distraction for me. Oh, my God. I got to... Arnell just uploaded and it says I'm pregnant. Is she pregnant? Oh my God, it's so weird. Like when your favorite creators, she's not like my favorite creator, but I love Arnell, love watching her. So it's just so weird to see them entering like a different stage of life. Whoa. We're on the way to Best Buy to see about my camera. I just realized I haven't ate all day and I'm hungry. But yeah, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just in a mood, y'all. I'm ready to get my hair done. I get my hair done in the morning, and I'm so excited because I'm getting something I never had before. So, that's exciting because, baby, I've been wearing it down. This wig and these headbands, I've lost, like, my black one, my white one, and my fucking gray one. <laughs> so, now I've been wearing, like, colored ones. But I love these headbands because my lace looks atrocious. But yeah, I just want to let y'all know we're on the way to see about the camera. I'll pick y'all up once we get to the Best Buy. It wasn't a Best Buy by me that had an appointment, so I'm going like 30 minutes out. It's a little annoying, but it is what it is. So I'll see y'all when we get there. 
All right, y'all, so we made it. This plaza has like a lot of stuff, which is good. They have a Target and they have a Kroger so I can get the rest of the stuff I need for dinner tonight. Oh, I need to adjust myself. I need to start snapping my freaking, let me turn I need to start snapping my body suits because it's nothing more embarrassing than your damn body suit hanging out the back. Like, what the fuck? All right, let me lock the door. And let's go. Oh. It feels good today, too. It's, it looks cloudy like it's going to rain. But it's not cold, nor is it hot. So, they took the camera, said they were going to send it off. She said she estimated to take about two weeks, but I already know how they go. I know it's going to take a while. So, it is what it is. I don't really need the camera. The only thing I would need the camera for right now is to take pictures. That's what I used to take pictures off of. So, either I'm going to have to get comfortable with this iPhone and taking pictures or not taking them. So right now I'm about to go to Target and then, I don't know, maybe I'll just get everything I need from Target. I'm cooking pasta. I told y'all my new year start tomorrow, so don't judge me. I found some sausage in the freezer. I found some shrimp in the freezer and we got panini noodles. All I need is some heavy whipping cream and we got spinach. I need heavy whipping cream and uh, Parmesan cheese. But Tabitha's Brown's um, food and like cook stuff came out at Target today. Hopefully they have something left. It's kind of late. So we'll see. So yeah, I'll see y'all in Target. So it's not really anything left. It's some um, cream cheese spread, which is garlic. And then also caram caramelized onion, which I'm not really a fan of. And then some trail mix. I really wanted the popcorn. Wait, I like aioli. I might try this. I like aioli. I don't know. Uh, what's this one? A vegan truffle. Okay. Got the butter. I need some. Heavy whipping cream. Oh God, I hope they have some. It's not looking good for me. Mm. Damn, I have nothing. Heavy whipping cream might be over here though. I want to get a, is this Coke? I want to get a Coke, okay, a cola. Cause I have lemon lime. And I have ginger ale. But I want like a Coke. This is strawberry watermelon. I'm gonna get this. And I'm going to have to. I'm going to Kroger because the heavy whipped cream was $10. And I think the fuck not. <laughs> it's really cute. This is like the. Um, the Black Creators Collection. What is this? This is cute too. This is cute. Let me look through the stuff real quick, y'all. This is cute. So it's like a sweatsuit. This is the top. And then these are the bottoms. This plaza is pretty cool. It's the Marshalls. Bed Bath & Beyond, Ross, Petco, Target, and now a Kroger, which I'm about to go in and then go home. I feel weird being out when like it's dark. Like, you know, I'm just ready to get back home. I'm back home. I, I'm just so happy to be back home, y'all. The traffic out there was crazy. I was such a homebody, and I never thought I was, but I guess I am. Got the things I needed from Kroger and some extra. So I got some, since I'm making a pasta, I got some Italian cheese. I also got Parmesan. This was the only brand I could find Parmesan shredded cheese in, so I got that. 
I got some butter. And then only God knows how much this was. But they only had small ones, so I got two of the small heavy whipping cream because, honey, we we make our own sauce. Like, that's just what we do. And then from Target, y'all, I got the most random shit you will ever see. Okay, so, out the one, three, five dollar section, I got this makeup sponge washing machine. <laughs> I just, I don't even know if y'all can see it, but... I just want to try this out. Like, I thought it was the cutest thing. It was only $5, so we'll, we'll be testing that out. This was also something I really needed. This was a heat mat. This would be good when I'm traveling, too. You can sit your curler and your flat iron on. And you can also, like, wrap it up when you're finished. Then they had these weights. They're, like, they say two pounds each. So just some weights, like, you know. I got the cola stuff for my soda stream and then the last thing i got was that dress this dress is really really cute so we'll try that on later i still have to relax my hair i told y'all i'm getting my hair done in the morning let me see if i can just slide this let's see <laughs> so good yes i taste it because who cooks and don't taste their food so good so well seasoned it's creamy it's just really good such a messy cook though like y'all look look at the mess it's it's crazy oh it's 1 a.m i just got out the shower i smell so good y'all and my skin is just like glistening like i feel so good i have really been prioritizing taking really good showers lately and doing my body care afterwards because girl most times like one o'clock in the morning well obviously i'm not tired but usually i'll be tired and i'll just like take a shower and go to bed and be dry as hell <laughs> but lately i've just been like like i said prioritizing like moisturizing my body like thoroughly and I just feel so good. Like, my feet feel good. Y'all know I got that pedicure at the beginning of the vlog. So, my feet feel so good. I want to show y'all what I've been using, which I've told y'all about it before. But it just smells so good, y'all. Oh, this camera is going dead. Hopefully, I can hurry up and do this real quick. So, vitamin E oil. Number one, vitamin E oil from Trader Joe's. You can get it from anywhere, but I've been using the one from Trader Joe's. It's just got my skin so soft and just doing good then the Laura Mercier this is the ombre vanilla I believe y'all it smells so good and then with the fragrance on top 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend I got that set from Macy's so I'll have it down below if y'all are interested but yeah I'm about to just chill out put my damn camera on the charger because I gotta get my hair done in the morning I did relax my hair so that's done. Yeah, I'm just riding out to this camera battery go dead, honestly. I'm surprised. Why do I be? <laughs> Why do I be zooming in like that? I need to put all these batteries on a charger because I got to record the process of me getting my hair done in the morning. And I'm so excited. I'm about to fix me some water and lay down because I got too much energy. I got to get up in the morning and I got shit to do. So I will see y'all in the morning. And I already told y'all, food was 10 out of 10. Would we'll definitely recommend. But not if you're trying to lose weight. Because we ain't shit healthy about that. But I'll see y'all later. Bye. Y'all. Hey, y'all. So I am 
I'm getting my hair dyed right now. Jet black. I'm getting my hair done, which I told y'all about. I'm super excited because I'm getting tape ins. Your girl is getting tape ins. I'm. This is my first time getting tape ins. I never even really thought about getting tape ins, but this company hit me up. It was like, we'll send you the tape ins. We'll pay you, and we'll pay the stylist to do your hair. So who wouldn't take that opportunity? Like, why not? So yeah, I'm excited. I'm um getting my hair done by one of my favorite stylists. I Slayed by Jordan. If y'all want to see like the whole process of me getting my hair done, I am vlogging it. So I don't know if it's going to be up before this or after this, but whichever way, I'll have it pinned so y'all can check it out. The whole process, everything. I'm excited. I'm so excited. I think I'm going to like it. It's giving my hair a bit better. Okay. Yeah, I've been home for so damn long. Like it is currently. Hmm. Alexa, that bitch, where's my phone? It is 10, 12. So I've been home, I've taken a shower, washed my face, everything, curls done drop. My hair looks really good. The hair looks healthy and good. And then my hair just looks good. So I got a full head of like taping ends, but if y'all, not me zooming in. Y'all gotta watch the hair video so y'all can get all the deets if y'all are interested, but I love it. I really like the way it look. I like how versatile it is. I can pull it up. I can do um half up, half down. Like, I can do whatever I want to do. It's my hair. It's mine. It probably won't be something I wear, like, all the time, but it's fun. You know, it's fun for now. I can scratch my hair easily. It is a little weird because, like, when you put your hands, like, through your hair, like, you can feel, like, all your tapes. So, that's a little weird. But other than that, I love my hair, y'all. Absolutely love my hair. Like, in love. So, I basically spent, oh, my eyeball is just so bad. Basically spent the whole day getting my hair done. So, I need to end this vlog by tomorrow. I feel like this vlog been going on and on and on. So I need to end this vlog by tomorrow so I can start another vlog because I got my hair done so I'm ready to work. Like, a bitch didn't want to do no work. Y'all know I told y'all I had a situation happen and then I just really, my hair wasn't done. I wasn't feeling it. But now that my hair done, I want to make some videos. Like, I want to I wanna work. So, yeah, I'll probably see y'all tomorrow. Hey y'all, so I spent the first half of my day, when I first woke up this morning, I had to re-edit a video, which went live today. And I've just been doing things like that, editing, and a whole bunch of nothing. We're about to make ourselves look like something. I know I got my hair done yesterday, although it does not look like it. It's cool. It's cool. I love how I'm just able to scratch my hair so freely. I'm probably just about to like straighten it and just make it look, not straighten it, but just make it look like something, make myself look like something. I was looking at myself last night trying to figure out what it was that had me looking so weird. And it's the fact that I have no lashes on at all. Like I feel like I look like a naked mole rat. Right? We're about to... Let me plug up my flat iron. I'm going to use my new flat iron. I got this flat iron for Christmas, and I was going back and forth, like, whether I was going to take it back or not. And I just decided to keep it because whatever. So, it's a Baby Bliss Pro. It looks like this. All right, let's see if we're able to put some soft curls in this hair with this flat iron. Mm-mm-mm. We are. Something real quick and easy. All right, y'all. So, I decided to go with this, like, half up, half down style because it was easy. And I'm not going anywhere. I just wanted to look presentable enough to talk to you guys. So... What? I feel like I feel like I look young. What do you think? <laughs> 
But yeah, I just wanted to make myself look presentable enough to talk to y'all. I really don't have nothing going on today, y'all. Like, I feel like, I don't know. Like, I just have nothing going on. I feel like i just been doing, like, check-ins. in the morning I have to straighten up my apartment because my cleaner comes at 8 45 so yeah oh my god yesterday was just so overwhelming for me like I don't know it was just a lot yesterday was just a lot we'll talk about it a little bit later but right now I have to clean like this whole pile of clothes I'm gonna try to fold them real quick but today is Wednesday I'm excited I'm going to dinner tonight some socialization you know your girl haven't really been socializing like that so this should be good I'm just I don't know today is a new day new opportunities let's leave yesterday in the past but yesterday was just so overwhelming y'all i just i wish that sometimes i could just stop my mind from thinking i don't know if y'all like can resonate with that or not but <sighs> i just feel like my mind just never stops thinking like it's just always something like Overthinking has got to be a disease. It has got to be a disease. I wouldn't wish that on nobody. It's so annoying. <sighs> but I'm working through it. When I got home, I went to the movies yesterday. I think y'all seen that. Yeah. I went to the movies yesterday. I went to go see the Whitney Houston movie. And I really enjoyed it, y'all. I love going to the movies. Fun fact. I'm pretty sure I told y'all this fun fact a million times. Going to the movies and going bowling are my two favorite things to do. And I love going to the movies by myself because it's just time alone where I can enjoy a movie. I realize that most of the times, like if I go to the movies with somebody, they're not paying attention or they're asleep or, you know, whatever the case may be. And I really enjoy that moment. So I just decided to start spending those moments by myself and I absolutely love doing it. So, yeah, the movie was really good. And I felt like it was just a great, a great movie that I needed to watch while I was feeling how I was feeling. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I did that. And then when I came home, well, actually on the drive home, y'all yeah, started crying. <laughs> I'm, I hate crying around people. And that's probably why I love my car so much. Because, like, I just let out so many emotions in my car because I know I'm alone I feel safe you know I just I just love being in my car so I started crying just releasing everything how I was feeling and then I came home and I journaled and so by the time I took a shower and I got in bed my mind was at ease because I left all those emotions on the freaking pen and paper I definitely want to start back journaling because it helped me so much. Like that was the only thing that calmed me and it was it was crazy. So yeah, definitely want to start back journaling. <sighs> I just I don't know. If I can be transparent, I just I just hate like I'm I'm trying to figure out how to deal with all of this because you know, it's the top of the year. It's still the new year and 
I definitely first day in started before the new year went into this thing like I'm going to be great. I'm going to be good. Like this is going to be my year. And don't get me wrong. This is still going to be my year. But what I forgot to do was make room for the inconvenience. Like when you're when you're trying to be great and when you're really trying to work towards something, there's always going to be inconvenience, you know, no matter how much we plan, how much we think we got everything to the T, there's always going to be inconvenience. And, you know, it really kind of bothers me when I when I call things an inconvenience because it it kind of makes it seem like it kind of makes it seem like that. I, like it's like ugh, I'm ugh, I'm so mad this is happening. You know, like, cause that's usually how we feel about inconvenience. I don't know. When I explain the situation to y'all, maybe y'all will understand more. I just, I don't know. I'm just trying to get my shit together, and not only get my shit together, but keep my shit together, regardless of what's going on in life. But I just think the main thing that's throwing me off right now is that. I feel unmotivated, you know what I mean? And I hate that because like I mentioned, it's still the top of the year. I've went through so many emotions and it's, I think today is January the 11th. So we're 11 days in the year. And when I tell y'all, I feel like I've been drugged through the fucking mud. I feel like January has been a whole year in itself. Like what is even happening? But you know what? Regardless to what's going on, what happens, I'm going to remain positive. I'm going to continue to declare good days, continue to think positive, and not let my thoughts overwhelm me. So I urge each and every one of you to do that as well because we we can get in our heads, baby. We can be our own worst enemies so yeah thanks for listening to my ted talk as i fold these clothes i really appreciate it because talking really just helps <laughs> and i mean although i am sitting here talking to myself technically it doesn't feel that way because i know in a little while y'all will be watching this and y'all will be able to comment and y'all will be able to you know, just let me know I ain't tripping. Let me know I'm not alone. So, thanks for listening. I folded these clothes. And now I'm going to finish the rest of the shit I got to do. So, my AirPod Maxes came yesterday. And I made a TikTok in the reel. So, if you want to see, like, the unboxing, it'll be there. But, um, I'm going to commenting on my... Hold on. Let me open this real quick. I am going to be commenting on my reel, and she was saying get protective shields for the ears, the cuffs, because she's already scratched her ears. So I ordered them, and they came the next morning. So I'm about to put them on. I am going to the gym today, so I'm so excited to try them out in the gym. I really like these. The sound quality is amazing. So this is like what it looks like. I think this goes, yeah, this one goes on this ear. Let me just put it on there. Well, I got to line it up. Hold on. I've seen this on TikTok, and I ordered this immediately because Sebastian's paws, y'all, they be smelling like freaking feet. So this is waterless paw shampoo for cats and dogs. I like this part on it. So basically, I think you just like pump it down and then the stuff comes out and you just like scrub the paw. So yeah. All right, so I am getting ready to leave. It's 9.05. Sebastian has an appointment at 9.30. I think he's getting like a yearly checkup and he's also getting a Bordetella shot and his rabies shot. Y'all, I'm so glad I got the chance to experience tapings because who, who, 
I would have never tried tape ins on my own because first of all, the installs are pretty pricey. I think it's worth it, but it is expensive. And it just depends on who you go to. But you want to go to a professional because if they install your tape ins wrong, you won't be able to like lift your hair up. It'll be super painful. It's just a lot. But I really like this. I think this will be like perfect, like on vacation. She looks like a gym girl. Like, who? It's so crazy. When you put these on, you can't, without music even playing, you can't hear shit. Mm -mm -mm. Gotta go. I'm drinking this Celsius and it's starting to kick in because I feel it. I feel the, the crackhead energy brewing in me. It's crazy. I'm going to leave here. I got to hurry up. I got probably about five more minutes. I'm going to drink this. Get Sebastian. Grab my shoes. Yeah. Sebastian. Look at him. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. So took him to the um doctor's appointment. I think I told y'all he's getting some shots and some other stuff. Just like a yearly checkup for the most part. Honestly, y'all, it's just really no good way to say this. It's 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 never going to be a right time to say this. It's never. It's it just. I just need to tell y'all. Roscoe passed away. Wow, that, that was a lot. <laughs> and what made me, like, I'm kind of triggered right now because I think I told y'all my apartment is getting clean and my cleaners are used to seeing the two dogs. So when I went to go get Sebastian from out of the crate, she was like, where's the other dog? And I was like, he passed away. So Roscoe passed away on the 6th. He fell ill, like, on the 3rd. So it's just been a lot, y'all. It's it's just been a lot. And I know that people who never had dogs or maybe you're not like a dog person, you don't really understand. But a dog, that's, that's like your whole world, really. You know, especially if you don't have kids. It's like those are your kids. And I've been around Roscoe just as long as I've been around Dion. And Dion and I have been together for a very long time and he was even living before the end and of course i'm very sad like i'm i'm trying every day to you know just really because it's just like i don't know it's just so weird it's so crazy what big of a difference he made in our household like the house is just so quiet now it's just i don't know it just feels like something is truly missing that's because he's no longer here and i know we just went through this like a year ago so it's just it's just a transition. It's just a transition, seriously. I feel like Sebastian is is extremely sad. Like he just lays around and does nothing all day. And it's just it just makes me sad to see. And then of course Dion is sad and of course I'm sad as well. But that's that was Dion's dog. Like before there was a me, before that was a anything, it was just Dion and his dog and you know, like when you're alone and it's just you and your dog, your dog is with you through all four seasons. You're sad, you're happy, you're depressed, whatever the situation may be, your dog is always there. So I just, I don't know, I just really want y'all to send prayers to Dion because it's it's, it's hard, y'all. It's hard. It's, it's really, really, really hard. So yeah, I just wanted to tell y'all that because in my last vlog that I uploaded, which at the time of that vlog like during that vlog he was still living so but he felt sick so it was like i don't know and the anxiety of having like a sick dog is so bad because you you're like i couldn't do anything like of course Dion still had to go to work and that shit sucks man that shit really sucks when you still have to live your life no matter what like life is so fucking hard sometimes like People, like, you still have to live your life. Like, no matter what fucking happens, you still have to live your life. Like, this man dog got sick. You still got to go to work every day. You still got to, you still got to keep going. It's no option to just fucking stop. Like, it's crazy. It is, it is so crazy. And that's why, I, like, I'm just like, damn, like, I didn't, I didn't plan for this. Of course I didn't plan for this. I'm thinking like New Year, shit about to go straight and third day into the year, something like this happens. So it's just I don't know. 
just definitely keep us in y'all's prayers because it is a huge transition and it's just it's different it's it's really different I, 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 I don't even know like I say if you don't have pets or you never had pets you never lost a pet maybe you don't understand but it, it's it's something like I can't even explain because yeah, like <laughs> that is that's, that's our child, and although we still have Sebastian, I love Sebastian, but Sebastian was definitely I, I got him to fill the void of losing my other dog. You know what I mean? Like those two dogs, Juicy and Roscoe, those were like our dogs. We had them forever. They were just, you know, those were our babies. So to know that they're like both gone now, it's it's crazy. It's it's crazy. I don't know. But yes, Roscoe is now in doggy heaven. He's with Juicy. And I know they're just having a blast. He is missed so much. Seriously, like, it's so weird. No, not me getting emotional. But it's just, it's just so weird because, like, even... Even like waking up in the morning, like I'll open both of their cages, you know, take them outside. And it's like, oh, it's just Sebastian. Like, I don't know. And although Roscoe didn't really like Sebastian, he would still, like, he would still sometimes like lay with him. And, you know, like if Sebastian was at the groomer all day, Roscoe would be like walk around the house looking for him. And then when they got there, they'll be like play fighting. And, you know, like, and it's like now it's none of that it's just a quiet house because Sebastian isn't really he don't make noise like he'll bark sometimes but he don't make noise so it's just so weird it's just it's just so weird but it's really just had me in a funk y'all like I've been I've really just been in a funk because it's an adjustment like I said like it's just an adjustment even like opening up the pantry door and seeing all his dog food there because we haven't moved nothing like it's been it's been like a week we haven't moved anything his cage still there the dog food still there um the last place his bed was was in my beauty room because like I said he fell sick so I had him with me everywhere I didn't leave the house at all I watched him sun up to sundown to make sure he was okay so every time I would like move to a different room in the house I would bring him with me so his dog bed is still in my room and I don't know I, I, I loved Roscoe I still do love him I will always love him he, you know it's, 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 it's crazy it's just so crazy and then like yesterday Dion came home and said his co-worker passed away just like suddenly and although I didn't know the lady, sad for him. Not it's pouring down right now. I'm just sad for him. And it just, I don't know, that had me so emotional yesterday because I really am like an empath. So when, when I hear something, I just automatically like take on the emotions of the people that knew that person. Like I'm just so sad because it's like, damn, like the year just started and you know, like, we all, like, even me, like, it's so crazy. It just made me think, like, when the new year started, I was, like, so optimistic, so ready to, you know, get into this year. And it's like, you know, like, although it's a new year, it's still some people that's going, that went into this new year really fighting some battles, whether they were silent battles, um, in the hospital, lost their jobs, like, it's just so many people going through it, so many things. And when people pass, I, I think, I don't know. It's just something about people passing away that just really shows you how quick life is. Like, I know that lady did not wake up and know she was going to pass away that day. You know what I mean? She left her house. She did whatever she did. And she thought she would return home. That shit just blows my mind to know you can leave your house one day and never fucking come back. That's crazy. And, 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 it, and it can happen to anybody. It's not It's not a certain group of people. It's not it, anybody. You, me, anybody. Wow, that's, 
it's just such an eye opener. Tell me why. I got my freaking foam runners on there. I left my tennis shoes upstairs. And I'm not going to get them. So, we're going to do 30 to 45 minutes. I don't know. I'm finished at the gym. I feel so good. Y'all, the whole time, I was just thinking about so much stuff, but I feel so good. Um, she haven't texted me, so I don't think she's finished with the apartment yet. So I'm probably finna stretch and then go upstairs. <sighs> okay, so I'm up here to pick up Sebastian. I look a mess, y'all. Like, I, I really do. But we're going to dinner tonight, so we're going to clean it up. Looking for something that's good for his breath. Thinking about just trying this. This is petite. Oh, he would need regular. So I got these um, dental treats for dogs. <laughs> I got, uh, y'all, how freaking cute. They're putting like all their Valentine's Day stuff out forever, period. And then when I was at the register, the meal was like, you know, you can just get the Christmas ones. They're like way, way cheaper. So I just went ahead and got this. Like, obviously I was getting this one because it's cute and it fits the season we're going in. But whatever. This is like 50 cents. So I just grabbed this one as well. And this one is apple cinnamon flavor. And this one is cinnamon vanilla. And then I got this toy because like I said, he had this last year and he absolutely loved it. Like he loved this toy so much. It was, I, I was so sad when I had to get rid of it. But he had to like chew it all of it apart or whatever. So I was so happy when I seen this because he's eating right now. But he's going to be happy about this. If you made it to the end of the video, I would like to just say thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for sticking around. I know the uploads has been pretty, you know, not as consistent as I usually am, but I hope you guys understand. I'm just trying to get my life back together and keep my life together. I do realize that it was a lot of things we were supposed to do in this vlog, like try on the Target dress and try out the washing machine for the Beauty Blender. We'll do all that in the next vlog, so definitely make sure you stay tuned. And again, I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you for supporting me, praying for us at this time, and just really just being there and... Loving me for me. So thank you so much. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.